Okay, welcome uh, to the uh, stream. Uh, <laughs> welcome to J Sports, ladies and gentlemen. I guess make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for some notifications. You never miss another one of these clips. Support us on PayPal. Support us on PayPal so we can keep doing this. Welcome, real talk with Oscar Montiel fans or RTS with Oscar. We still don't know the name of the channel to this day. Uh, the game is delayed. Uh, so we're going to shoot the shit. Um, uh, kick it. Uh, Oscar's here. We're going to talk. I guess he's going to edit Real Madrid. The Braves are on. So <laughs> I don't really know the Braves line. I mean, I know them, but not as well as the Dodgers. But I do know how to compensate a game of baseball. Now it is on Fox. So I'm going to try. Um, and uh, commentate it. It's Saturday night in America. It's on Fox. So if y'all want to turn to your local Fox channel, uh, the Braves are going to be playing the White Sox. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna, we're delayed for about another hour. Yeah. <laughs> That's. You know, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. Thunderstorm. Um. Already. What was that thunderstorms i guess oh i didn't know you know i should have just checked i should have asked my amazon dude i don't know like um r i found out right when you texted me saying that you just started i was like oh damn i should because i was about to text you i was like i was about to text you saying hey dude the game's delayed ah, i like, wish you would have like right when you started the stream right when you texted me that you started the stream oh man can i add damn. We, could, we could come back Nah, no, we'll just stay. Nah, no, what's the point? <laughs> I wish you would have told me, man. All right. So, let's see if I can commentate another team. <laughs> yeah, you do that. All right. Oh. Ben Intendi. Spencer Strider on the inside corner. Looks like a strike there on Ben Intendi, who used a timeout. It's going to be so awkward when, when the Dodgers do come <laughs> home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hit it to right field. Oh, Dodgers are on. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes back to the wall. And Oh, Dodgers are on, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer Strider is pitching for the White Sox. One and two on Ben and Tony. Round ball first. foul on the first. What was that? Basically saying what you just said. Oh. Oh, man. I'm so hungry. My mom was supposed to go to the place I told you I don't want to say it on, in public. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to get mad. But... And also, yeah, you know what I told you. <laughs> Why? Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> but she went with her bowl off her hand, and she never went. And she's like, but I'm going to go get food. I'm like, why don't you just get, like, a lasagna so we have it for a day? She's like, no. Like, why don't we just cook spaghetti? Because I don't want to cook over the heat because it's really hot here. And that is a high heat for strikeout number one for Spencer Strider on Ben Benintendi. Oh, actually, this is, this is, I'm sorry, the Braves are hitting. So that went to the top of the strike zone. That was not very easy for him to get on top of. So that's a very good velocity at 98. Here's Tim Anderson. Here's the one-year anniversary of his last home run. So it's literally been a year. July 15th, 2022. Since he has hit a home run. And let's see what Strider has. That'll be a strike on. on. That'll be one. One strike. He's 1-0. and oh. So weird commentating for another team. I don't like it. Ah, that's a check swing. Strikeout number two for Strider. This feels so weird. 
I'm <laughs> commentating a Braves White Sox game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is more weird than Yeah, Emily. Dude, today Emily had a um, Luis Robert Jr. pop up first base side Olsen into foul territory. And two strikeouts and a pop up. Oh, they're playing in Atlanta. I was right. All right. So the White Sox were hitting. I should know the lineup better. Um, anyway, so Emily got the whole... Remember how I put, like, the ice all the way to the top? Like, I yeah. filled that bitch up. Tell me why Emily takes the bucket, pours the ice into the into the dog bowl. Because so, it's hot, you know, so we want to make sure he's not, you know, fucking overheated. It splashes, and his water goes on the ice. Damn. And we're like, oh, come on, Emily. And she's like... No, Jay. No, Jay. No. I'm like, you. we literally had to throw all that ice away. And I was going to pour me a soda, but now I have to remake the ice. I like how I'm trying to find highlights of this young-ass dude that Real Madrid bought for no reason. <laughs> well, the Dodgers just bought a fucking Astros player, you stupid mother. Ooh, I wish I had soda. He was a former Astro. Oh, no, my mom's here. Let me close my door. Hold on a second. Let me also turn on my light. Hold on, I'll be back. All right. <laughs> All right, that is two away for Atlanta. Usually they're pretty jumpy in the first inning. That's two away. Kabbalah caught it. I'm eating a box of M&Ms. We have a McDonald's Coke. Uh, my mom's making fish sticks and rice. I don't know why she just doesn't make lasagna, yeah, but hey. So off. That's so such a weird combo. Right. Uh... Damn. I don't know what I'm going to do to cover this young ass dude. (laughs) 
Fuck yeah, I'm probably not gonna use highlights. I'm probably just gonna use like an, uh, an image of him. Yeah, that's probably better. Get his stats. <laughs> Outside, oh, he's so oh, young yeah. that he's been a part of like the youth teams of like other teams. Like it's not even funny. Oh, the only yeah. reason why Real Madrid got him was so that way Barcelona wouldn't get him. <laughs> <laughs> Any motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. They There's literally over. They overpaid him, like overpaid for, to like to get him. What is he like? Fifteen. So, so, his buyout clause from the other team was gonna was set at like, I think like like uh, I think it was like ten million euros or something oh, like that. Yeah. No. 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 It was six million euros. It was this buyout clause? Tell me why Real Madrid pay twenty million? What? Oh, he better be good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, so let me unless see. unless other teams were looking for him, and Real Madrid had to do something to convince him to go. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the only ones that I knew that were in the race at the time was Barcelona, and Barcelona's... Well, they've got money. No, Barcelona's actually poor. Hmm. Well, they also brought lasagna, bread, cheese for sandwiches, eggs, so I'm like, oh, we have food. Yay. Hmm. And then my mom bought me a Coke, and then Emily gave me a box of M&M's. It's a real baseball game. Let's see. So how is New York pizza, though? Arda Gouler. So how is New York pizza, though? Is it good? It's all right. What? Again, the only... Again, the place that I went to, like, wasn't, like... It was good, don't get me wrong. Like, it was good and everything, but, like, it wasn't, like, greasy. Like, the greasy stuff that you see on TV and shit. Mm. But was it better New York-style pizza than what we, than, like, the places yes. that we have? <laughs> mm-hmm. When they claim it's New York-style? All right, here go the White Sox. The Braves not getting a single hit in the first inning, which is not like them at all. But this is barely the beginning of the second half. It's only game number two. That is a strike from Strider. Can you white dudes just commentate the game, please? And that is the strikeout for Strider. Out of four batters, he I think he has struck out three. So look at that top hand. That's a slider right there. And you have to have the pitch out of the zone. Very perfectly executed by Strider. And I'm going to send this to my man. That is the strike right there. The only catch is I'm I gotta find a way to like keep this video like sixty seconds or sh- like I'm only oh. doing I'm doing only shorts. Oh, are you? Dude, videos don't give me views, so like I I as of right yeah. now we we're doing sh- I'm doing a short. I should have done a um, Jude Bellingham video. Yeah, you should. Thing is that I can't find highlights of of him either without background music in the in the video. Then you take the video, you share the tab, like I did. Before you play it, you put the volume to five percent muted. Make sure it says muted, and then you can, when you start recording, you can just play the highlight over it. That's what I do. No, no, no. What I'm saying is the videos that I have or I've seen 
show music in the highlight video. Show music? Or they play music? Like, they, they, they play, like, there's, like, music playing while the highlights are going. That, But my point is, you can, if it's on YouTube, right, you're sharing the tab? Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore since UEFA took my video down that one time. Well, then, why would you... So you're just going to convert the video into an MP4 and share it that way? Uh-huh. You can still mute the video. You know that, right? Yeah, it's I know, but here's the thing. One time, I muted something, and it still got me copyright striked. Because you're showing the highlights. It doesn't... The it, it the You could have a totally silent video, and it'll still copyright you. Ugh, the world of shorts is hard. Yeah. Hmm. I don't understand how the Braves fans aren't singing. I like how we're just fucking around. Basically. Because this was supposed to be a Dodger live stream. Right? <laughs> A full Dodger game, and instead we're streaming the Braves, and we're barely doing it. Man, it's gonna take me forever to fill that thing up with ice again. Because it takes like two hours to freaking freeze completely. Because sometimes when you pour when you pour the ice in, it's watery too. So then it the water pretty much you know, freezes and then it sticks to the other ice and then it, the other, uh, the rest of the ice sticks to that. So then it's really difficult to pull that ice apart. Okay, so now I gotta look up dude Bellingham. Like how I'm leaning back in my chair, watching the commercials and eating M and M's out of a box, <laughs> out of a box. <sighs> did your TBI, like your visually impaired teacher, or teacher for visually impaired, did they ever have like a big ass jar of M and M's, and if you did something good, they let you get some? Uh, I don't mind it. It was like when I was five or six, yeah. But after that, not really. Yeah, remember how big the jar was? That sucker was full of M and M's. Yep. All right, let's see. Jude Bellingham. Yes, I know. I'm one month. Matt Olson up to bat, Lance Lim. Throws a high pitch. That's ball one on Matt Olson. He came from the uh, A's last year. Well, we got Freddie freaking Freeman. Now you can get Olsen out top of the strike zone above his hands. That is two and one. In photos. Ball two. <laughs> and that looks like that ball three. No. It looks like that's strike two. I can't tell. I wish these guys would commentate. Yeah, Oscar. Can you check if we can actually be heard? 
The what? On on the stream. Can you check if we can actually be heard? Yeah, I got you. I was even going to talk about the Dodger lineup. I mean, you still can. Yeah, I can. God damn it. Don't you dare say God like that. The religious people. Remember I, Carly, when she brings the vegetables into the, the asparagus into the iCarly studio. The fact that she can just invade like that is even funnier. And he's like, oh my god, you better finish that with gosh. <laughs> he's like, dear gosh, please make her leave. When a big boy eats his vegetables, don't sing the song. Alright, so that's good. Okay, now let's see if you were. You remember when the counter's ready? So she's like, why is the counter wet? What? Why is the counter sticky and wet? Sticky and wet makes mommy upset. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Benson. You could play some my Carly clips. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, we okay, can. Okay, yeah, we are being heard. We're good. It's my. Can you hear my mic, good? Hello, hello. Yeah, we, I can hear your mic. All right. All right. The only view we're gonna get. <laughs> Well, let me, um, I'm going to go film some clips real fast. Okay. On my, on my account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, so you're going to leave the stream then? Yeah, hold on though. Damn it, I was going to go to the bathroom and I was going to have you entertain them. Oh, you can go to the bathroom. Hold on. All right. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Okay. Hold on, guys. All right. Let's see here. Message. Oh, my dumbass. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I want to show something to y'all real quick. Four. Okay.
Okay. All right. Okay. We're gonna. All right, we're gonna go here. Okay. Okay. Um. Go. Okay, Oscar, you can go film. Hold on. There's something I want to show. You, you're something artichoke? Hold on. You're eating artichoke? All right, y'all. If we're lucky, this is what we'll show today. Three two to Breckman. <laughs> Bobby Miller is losing it. Two two pitch. Drills one deep to left field. Hayward reaching back at the wall. <laughs> Come on! Oh shit! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Five three Astro. <laughs> <laughs> you missed some good parts where I was screaming. Three two to Breckman. Hold on, uh, Bobby I gotta Miller pause it. Is losing it. Two two pitch. Drills one <laughs> deep to left field. Hey, what are we back at the wall? Breckman, <laughs> come on! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> my question Five, is, why three, is it playing on Astro. my? I have you on my on my um, Mac, but why is it playing on my headphones? Like I have my headphones plugged in. Three, uh, two, to Breckman. Can you hear it? Uh, Bobby yeah. Miller is losing oh. it. Two, two, you pitch. Can just press the K button. Oh, okay, yeah, because I find it very. <laughs> I like how you put Mario. <laughs> Didn't you make another short about the, your prediction? <laughs> God, I really lost my mind there. Holy shit. <laughs> my eyes went all red. <laughs> <They're both back. laughs> oh, man. How many views did that you get on got that? Me, that short got me 240 views. <laughs> what would you call it? Dodger fan loses his mind or something? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't believe it takes that little to get me mad. And they won the game, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You should play your prediction video where I was laying down. <laughs> where is my StreamYard link? Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna select that. Right, <laughs> now we're gonna stop sharing. <laughs> oh, I know why it's playing in your headphones. Why? So that you can control voiceover. 
Oh. And you don't hear it. And and also because if you have it loud on your headphones so you can hear it, if you have it on your speaker and you turn it up loud, directed to left center field, that's a hit. Rebelard will go into third and he will stop. White Sox getting men on board in the third inning. This is not like the Braves. That was hey, a look, we've been live for 45 ball. minutes. <laughs> no Dodger content in sight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. How long? Let me see. Two on, nobody out for the White Sox. Wow, so we are 30 minutes delayed. Alexa. Dodgers schedule. Tomorrow. Ah, oh, you Dodgers son of a bitch. Alexa, stop. Alexa, what time do the Dodgers play today? No! Oh, thank God. I gotta wake up at 10.30 a.m.? Fuck. Because the game is at 10.40 a.m. No. Tomorrow. Hold on. Tomorrow's game. Today it's still delayed. Alexa, Dodger schedule tomorrow. Sorry, I don't know that one. What? Alexa, Dodgers schedule tomorrow. Sorry, I don't know that. Fuck. Alexa, what time do the Dodgers play tomorrow? Tomorrow. The Los Angeles Dodgers will play the New York Mets at City Field. First pitch is at 1.40 p.m. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh. I got to wake up. Oh. Good luck, Jason. <laughs> I like how all my friends, whenever the Dodgers play earlier, they're, they're like, are you sure you're awake? One day, my friend came to my apartment just to see if I was awake because she's never seen me awake. She's never seen me awake before 1 p.m. She literally drove to my house and knocked on the door just to see if I was awake. I'm like, wait, you literally came from Henderson, 35, 40 minutes away. Yeah, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> the fuck? And then on my birthday, when I texted her, because she texted me happy birthday, she's like, who are you and what have you done with Jason? That is a high check swing. Let's look at the oh, Dallas Andy. schedule. I want to see if we're going to be. Andy. That's a nice slider. Oh, oh you know what? That's good cheeseburger sliders. All right, let's see. Okay, so. Slider, two balls. And by the way, shot. Cowboys preseason start August 12th. That's the first game? Yeah. You want to do they a practice, play, like a they practice? Play against the, they play against the Jaguars. Mm. You want to do a practice game, like any game we want? Sure. All right. In the air, left-hand side, Benintendi. And then the play. White Sox will take the lead. Strider on three singles in the third mm -hmm. inning with that single in the left field. And it looks like it's so one nothing. White Sox. Um, Man, the White Sox against Spencer Strider, one of the best in the National League here. Holy shit. Your Cowboys schedule, you're going to be really happy with this one. Well, not <laughs> as happy because you you still have to wake up like on one. But, like, yeah. it's not that bad. <laughs> like, the, your, the game against the – the first game against the Giants is a Sunday night football game. So. Oh, yeah. That game is going to be at eight, eight, uh, five twenty your time. Okay, I can wake up at five. Uh, against the Jets at four twenty-five Eastern, so that's one twenty-five your time. Uh, at the Cardinals at the same time, one twenty-five your time. Uh, against the Patriots, one twenty-five your time. Against the Forty ers it's going to be Sunday night at eight twenty. 
My time? Uh, Eastern, sorry. Oh, I was going to say, holy I, shit. Against the Chargers, Monday Night Football, 515. Oh, I get Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. And then when you play the Rams, that's your first 1 p.m. game, so 10 o'clock a.m. Oh, I got to wake up at 950. But then but then you're the, against the Eagles, it's going to be 125. Against the Giants, it's going to be 125 the next week, too. Against the Panthers, because the Panthers actually do suck, that's going to be a 10 a.m. game for you. Mm. Uh, Thanksgiving, obviously, is going to be 1.30 your time. Who are we playing Thanksgiving? Washington. Wait, Dallas is playing Washington again? Yeah, on Thanksgiving, huh? Oh, shit. Now I know why you want to go. <laughs> That's why I want to go. But why? That's the only game you guys are gonna win against Dallas Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's why you look, Jason. We won. What are you talking about? You realize that Dallas owns Washington on Thanksgiving, right? Yes, but like they they have like a winning record. They are like eight and three or something like that. Do you trust Jerry Jones? I don't. And then you play against the Seahawks at eight at five fifteen your time the following week. Mm. And then Eagles again at, uh, at five twenty your time on Sunday night. And then the Bill the Buffalo Bills at one twenty five your time. Ooh, Bills. Dolphins again at one twenty five. Oh, we'll play Tua. Uh, assuming he makes it to the end of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Against the Lions on Monday night football. That's going to be a scrappy game. And then uh, the last game against the Commanders, that's to be determined. Depending on how far those two teams go by that time. Yeah. But that may be a 10 a.m. game. That may be a 125 game. Or that may be a Sunday Five. night football game, depending. So, see, two, you, only need, you only need to wake up at... 10 o'clock in, at 9.50 in the morning, only twice this season. <laughs> <laughs> and that is past. I, I forget who that is. Luis Robert Jr., White Sox, take a big lead and have a 3-0 lead over the Braves. Holy moly, this is not going well. Rosaria, not a very good job trying to get that ball. It gets past him. That slider was a hanger. It was left upward. So Rosario, Fuck. he's in left. He's going for a diving attempt, but it falls in front of him, and it caught. It gets caught in between, and the White Sox now take a 3 to nothing lead, which is what Naeem says when his mom and his sister take his balls. Oh! oh. Oh, oh. I like how we have to decide when I'm going to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was a, a football game years ago, maybe 2015 or 2013. Well, 2012, 2013, where my dad and I had to wake up at 8 because the game was at 8.30 or something like that in the morning because it was at 11 something. Uh, let me see. Let me think. I don't remember, but I remember we had to wake up that early. Maybe it was a London game? That's Maybe. That's probably what it was. But it was like 11 a.m. Oh, dude, I feel your pain when sometimes it's London games. And, like, they're actually – because London games are actually interesting because oh, yeah. there's no such thing as home field with those. Nope. So, like, they're actually entertaining to watch. And it's funny to watch English commentators. Hey, we're good. We got American football here. No, it's not even. No, they don't use English commentators. They use the standard American football. No, no, but they, they've had a commentator on sometimes. <clears throat> and now they're expanding in Munich. I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, watch them take American football to Europe. Well, now um, baseball is going to open in Korea next year. The Dodgers and the Padres. Hopefully they don't get bombed. Oops. South Korea, you dumbass. <laughs> Still. Nah. 
Kim Jong Un can't can't bomb you, that far yet. You never you never know. I know I follow politics. Speaking of, dude, I know. <laughs> You didn't even throw nothing for your one year anniversary or your three year anniversary. Oh yeah, I forgot about my anniversary. It's based. Oh. And that is how you you treat the the forty four subscribers you got in one day. I know. I lost two subscribers too. Dude, I've been craving Costco hot dogs like crazy. They are so yummy. Two two, and this is past Strider to the second baseman Ozzy Albies, and that is one out. But the White Sox will get three runs. Aha! The game is gonna start with the Dodgers and the Mets after this commercial break. Finally, <laughs> as the fish sticks are ready. <laughs> Dang, 45 minute delay. Yeah. I'm out of chips. Me too! Oops! We're streaming without chips. We always have chips on the stream. Hold on, I'll I, be right back. I can't wait till my grandmama comes with my son. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to... Um, yeah, you got to do the starting lineups. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we haven't done that in a while. Uh, we're going to do the starting lineups for the Dodgers and uh, the Mets. Uh, what I was going to do against the Astros was I was going to read the Dodger lineup, and then I was going to say, okay, that's it. That's all that's playing. <laughs> uh, let me connect my display I have here. And Joe Davis is on on Baseball Night in America. We are going to be opening the second half or continuing to open the second half with the Dodgers playing the Mets. And we are going to... So now the Dodgers are now leading after being 13 and 5. They're now leading the National League West. The Mets are uh whatever they are, uh 49 and 42. They need to figure things out. These are two interesting teams. Let's go ahead and read the lineups. Oh, hold on. All right, so uh, Cody, it's uh, Tony Gonzalez, Catman in against Cody Senga. And for the Dodger lineup, we got hitting first Mookie Betts, at right, uh, who's right-handed at second base. We got Freddie Freeman, who's hitting uh, left-handed at uh, first base. Will Smith will bat third. And he is the catcher. He's right-handed. Then we have Max Muncy batting uh, fourth, left-hander, third base. Then we got J.D. Martinez batting cleanup at the D.H. position. Now we have David Peralta uh, hitting, uh, playing at left field. Jason uh, Hayward in at right field. Uh, James Altman in at center field. Uh, then we have... Let's see which Miguel. Then, uh, then we have Miguel Rojas in at shortstop. Uh, and then we have uh, the Mets lineup. We have. Let's get this up here. All right. So we have the Mets lineup. Uh, Brandon Nimmo in at center field. We have. Uh, I Let's see. Francisco Lindor in at uh, shortstop. Um, we have Jeff McNeil in at left field. Uh, Pete Alonzo 
is in at uh, first base. Then we have uh, Daniel. Hold on. Vogel Vogel Batch at uh, DH designated hitter. At number six, we got Francisco Alvarez Alvarez uh, at looks like catcher. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, DJ Stewart in at right field. And then we have uh, the last guy, uh, Brett Beatty at third base. Oh, wait, we have one more. We have Lewis. Uh, let's see. Giorme in at uh, second base. Now... Mookie Betts is in, Sango. and that is a strike from Cody Senga. Sorry, Jason. I found my stash of chips. 26 home runs for Mookie Betts, tied for second in the league. Oscar, are you here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I had to put the volume down just so I could read because... My trackpad battery, trackpad battery was empty, and ah, oh, you motherfucker, son <laughs> of a fucking bitch, you dumbass bitch, commanders, motherfucker. I like how I, I just the chip. you. In the center field, hit. he goes with the laid off lead off base hit, Mookie Betts. Against Cody Sanga and the New York Mets. One aboard for the Dodgers. Freddie Freeman coming up next. Oops, 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 oops. Now, uh... From Betts to Freeman, and Freeman will take a cutter for a strike on Cody from Cody Senga, thirty-year-old from Japan, playing for the New York Mets. He's been one of the top All Stars for the Dodgers. Oh, one from Senga swings and fouls it away, and that is strike two on Freddie Freeman. Oh, you stupid. Oh, I have a Coke. <laughs> but you can't use it. Oh, I, I opened it last night. I couldn't help myself. And I have a Coke right here. My mom bought it. Your sister, your sister, your sister shouldn't bother you to do that much, huh? Mm-hmm. I like how you spent all day insulting her yesterday. Oh, yeah. Sango will throw fastball, and that is a strike on Freddie Freeman. 97 miles an hour. Kodai Sanga, he went fastball up on Freddie Freeman. So Freddie Freeman is trying to study that. Well, then he gets it by Freddie Freeman. And now here goes Will Smith. And Cody Sanga is really throwing that hard stuff. <laughs> Kodai Senga uh, does not want to get uh, it wants to get guys to two strikes because the numbers against him for two strikes are really really good Will Smith will take over the glove and that'll be ball one Will Smith finally went to his first all-star game finally after being a pro all-star One of the best catchers in the National League. And uh, I would say um, Sean Murphy's another good one. Take him out. You have Will Smith at number two. Will Smith, he's got a good on base percentage, he's good at home runs. 
He's good at slapping Chris Rock. Damn. Oh, but this one's white, so of course he didn't do it. Wow, I really went there. Okay. <laughs> I left it alone. And that'll ground one to short. And Senga will get two out. And actually will get the third out as he grounds one in the center field. And it is called out. Sometimes it's too loud in my ear and I can't commentate. I was going to do a joke when they were playing the trash throws. And saying, all right, and that is all the lineups for today. And it was like, wait, what about the Astros lineup? Oh, they're playing the Astros? <laughs> we don't need to read their lineup. Mm -hmm. wonder how loud I'm going to freak out tonight. size bag of hot cheetos just to be petty <laughs> i like how the only reason i get a party size bag of hot cheetos is to be petty against you <laughs> i don't even have hot cheetos what are you eating you know the dynamites uh no the dorito dynamite oh i guess Mm -hmm. Yeah, both. All right, here we go with the unimportant lineup of tonight. I mean, the Mets lineup of tonight. <laughs> I really went there, huh? Tony Gonsolin, Batman. He's now at a 3.8. Tony Gonsolin is at a 3.86 ERA. He had a 2.14 ERA last season. Started off with similar numbers this season, but his ERA has gone up. Fastball right there. One thing he's good at is the splitter. Um, last year he pitched in the zone. Nobody hit him. That is a ball. Ball two. And uh, now everyone's hitting him. He had six scoreless innings against the Braves. Oh, I'm um, against the Mets. Now he's 2-0. and oh. He's behind Brandon Nimmo. I thought his name was Nemo, but it's not. Remember that Finding Nemo part where he's like, Aw, he made me eat! Two and two to uh, Brandon Nemo. 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 Huh? It was a, yeah, it was an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember saying Brandon Nemo, and that is a bouncing ball of Miguel Rojas, and that'll be one down in the first. What? I remember when... I first watched that movie, and we didn't know a thing about what audio description was. Oh. And when they kept on saying butt, when they met Bo, I kept on thinking it was a butt. <laughs> They're like, wow, that's a pretty big butt. And in myself, I'm like, how did they get a butt down in the, down in the sea that ball is launched to center field outman is down and that'll be second out on that pitch yeehaw <laughs> i do remember when dory starts speaking well oh, what are you doing i'm speaking well oh, oh. 
I like how they get eaten by the whale and then it spits them out. Like. Two gone. Here's Jeff McNeil. I think that is a strike on him. There go the heavy neighbors. In the left center field, and that is an easy play for David Peralta. And that is a 1-2-3 first inning for Tony Gonzalez on eight pitches. What the fuck? All right, let me go get a cup. I'm going to pour some this ice I have in it, and then I'm going to pour my soda. Commentate the game while I'm gone. Can you hear me, Oscar? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Game is back on. I'm going to be pouring soda and trying to commentate. The second half of the Dodger lineup now in. Second inning. Kodai Senga will now go back to work. That's a lot of ice. Max Muncy will lead off the second for LA. Pop that up. Dang, this is a lot of ice. And that is a strike. Dang, this is a lot of ice. Holy shit. But it's little ice because, it, you know, that's how they put so much ice in your thing. That is a strike right there. One and two. Yeehaw! Here comes a one, two, Muncie. Bounces it right side, picked up by Pete Alonso, and that is the first out. heck is wrong with you? I, I hit my toe. JD Martinez, one away, swings and misses. That is strike one. <laughs> that
That'll be a strike. Strike two. Cody Sengai adjusting very well. He made the all-star team this year. He's been an incredible pitcher for New York, especially in the New York market where it's very... Why did I go New York with that accent? Uh, 0-2 pitch. And that looks like a ball right there, one and two, if I'm if I'm right. Um, he he couldn't hold the ball very well. He was damaging his knuckles basically by holding it too tight because it's much thicker and sleeker here than in Japan. And one two pitch, I was right, and that is a two two. Uh, it's two and two, and now he carried the ball wherever he went outside of the park, including to the sushi restaurants because of course that's all they eat. Wow. Do I let me drink some soda so I stop? That is a shot over first, and it gets by Alonzo. JD Martinez gets on base. Cody Sengai, Cody Sengai, Senga is doing incredibly well for. Uh, pitcher coming from Japan, even though they're very, very good in Japan. They're, Japan is very good at their, their, the originals of baseball and also Cuba. There's Jason Hayward. That is a ball. Man, how do they put baseball in the heat? <laughs> Especially Atlanta where it's like a wet heat. It's humid. <laughs> Well, this is New York, so I don't know what the weather's like in New York. No, I'm talking about in Japan. Ball, two balls, no strikes on David Peralta. What would you say? No, I'm talking about in Japan. Oh, Japan? I don't know how the heat is in Japan. Alexa, weather in Japan. Currently, in Tokyo, Japan, it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Okay, so it's not Today, too hot. You can expect lots of clouds. With a high of 98 degrees and a low of 81 degrees. Alexa, what is the humidity level in Japan? Alexa, what is the humidity level in Tokyo, Japan? Currently, in Tokyo, Japan, the humidity is 72%. Holy mother of God! So 86 degrees, low of 81, high of 98, and it's a 72% humidity. Woo! Everyone's sweating sushi out there. Oh, geez. That is a strike right there. Two and one. Three and one against... Here's the payoff. Comes home. That is foul. Martinez almost started running. Didn't. Another 3-2. Watches it go. And that's a fast bond. That'll be a strike. That is two gone. For Kode Senga. What an incredible pitcher this young or this old guy is. Because he's 30. <laughs> I'm five years younger. Uh, but what an incredible pitch that was. That was beautiful. That spin rate's really nice. Two out, Jason Hayward, breaking pitch, misses home. Jason Hayward, one home run for the Cup. He's being paid a minor league deal, the minimum. He's put up better numbers with the Dodgers in the last decade, down foul, one and one. He made some adjustments to his swing. Uh, he, he's much quieter. At, at the top of his body on the upper half. He's not diving in as much. Um, he's a lot more calm. So I think that's creating better command, not as jumpy. And he's had over 10 home runs for the Los Angeles Dodgers where he only had one home run for the Cubs. 
it proves you should never play in Chicago. Tenga, 0-1, takes a high strike, 1-2. One two, that is high, that is two and two. Jason Hayward came up with Freddie Freeman straight from high school. Played with the Braves until about 2014, 2015. The Braves let him go. Freddie Freeman hadn't seen or playing played with him. That is now looks like three and two on Jason Hayward. I was very skeptical of Jason Hayward because I thought he was just going to play in the minor leagues for the Dodgers in AAA, but he's been a very nice surprise along with J.D. Martinez and David Peralta. Martinez off and rolling, 3-2 pitch, fouls it away. Now, Jason Hayward and Freddie Freeman met at 16 years old playing at their high school all-star game. <clears throat> Reunited after nine years of not playing together. 23rd pitch of the second inning. Another 3 2 to Jason Hayward. And that'll be another foul. We will go to the next pitch. Come on, Hayward. Come on, Hayward. You got this. They're finally reunited, him and Freeman. After he was traded to the Cardinals back in 2014, it looks like. On the eighth pitch, Hayward swings and misses. That'll be a strike. That is three down. No score for the Dodgers, leaving Martinez at third. At first. Pete Alonso, the all-star, will be coming up to lead off the second for the Braves. Uh, not the Braves. <laughs> the, the Mets. Mets. <laughs> <laughs> you damn. Uh, so you, you, you commentated that game for like 20 minutes. And, I know. Uh, and barely, too. <laughs> 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 this is going to be one of the longest streams of, of this, this season. <clears throat> oh man, something went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> mm. And I called my mama's friend's party. Some brisket went down the wrong pipe and got stuck. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no one's saying anything about it. Until I finally cough it up. Ew. Ooh. It didn't come out of my mouth though. It just kind of like. Oh, you kind Yeah, it didn't like... come out of my mouth. No, it just stayed in my throat and then went down. Like, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, you're blessed. Mm. McDonald's ice tastes really good with Coke. I really don't know what to say to that. To be honest, <laughs> it just has a good balance. It, it has a good blend. McDonald ice. <laughs> Maybe because it was mixed with their Coke, so it. Mm. Skip, skip. I'm doing some skip, skip. I'm skip, skip. I'm doing Let's see. Should I go to the dinner party tomorrow? Nah. Oh, come on. Go. Free food. Fuck it. And there's a lot get, of it, too. I get free food here. Yeah, but it's rich people food. And you get to go out. I went out earlier today. 
All right, Pete Alonso up now. Pete Alonso hitting six home runs. Coming back from getting hit on the wrist. Ooh, in early June. Ouch. Starts it off with a base hit. Starts this inning with a base hit. Pete Alonso, first base runner against Tony Gonsolin. Where the fuck is that pitcher? Where the hell, where the hell did that pitcher come from? Gonsolin? Mm -hmm. He's been with the Dodgers for like three years now. He was one of the best pitchers last year. Just incredible. So he hit that with his first, with his uh, torso, really the upper half of his body goes towards the ball, chases it, and hits it into, into it looks like to first base. That was 0 for 15 for him, and that was 0 for 31. Daniel Vodabak will take one and one. One ball, one strike. The Mets got him at the trade deadline last year. Had a great final two months. Not been very good this year. He's been better, especially having five hits in two games recently after not having a very good start. Took about a mental break, a one-week mental break. I wish Oscar would do that so he could like a better football team. But anyway, we're not going there. Climbs the ladder. Freeman's got it to second on the first, and he's out. 363 double play. That is two out for Gonsolin. Goes up, gets it, one hop, right to Freddie Freeman. Very easy play, second to first. Rojas down at shortstop, throws it to Freddie. Boom. 363 double play. Double play, said Naim's mom and sister when they took his balls. Ah! Uh, get it? You've said that before. No, I don't remember saying that joke. Have I said that joke? Yes. Hmm. You see, this is what happens when you or over you when you use your no nut jokes thinking that you're gonna get material, but now you're stuck with no material. Yeah, because he can't do a trip. One one to Gonsolin. One one from Gonsolin puts it to third. Two hard hit balls, and yeah, that is two Vargas. Out. Hits it to Vargas, and that is three out for Gonzalez. Is it just me, though, or are these two innings gone really, really slow? Or is it because this game started late? It started late. Man, I really need a nap. I'll be right back. Okay.
how I changed the sound of the, the background music? I'm back. Can you tell I changed the background music? No. Here, let me show you. I can hear it. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, look, they're interviewing a dude. Yeah. Some guy talking about his brother giving up his life on 9 11. Nice. Oh, he's a New Yorker. He's a New Yorker. Yo, did you hear about the shark infested um, beaches in Long Island? Oh, yeah. Somewhere in Hawaii and then um, I forget where else. So, like, now, like, if you're going to the beach, you got to be fucking careful if you're walking on the edge, you know? Because now the sharks are getting brazen and they're coming on shore. Yep. Which is holy shit. Imagine you're walking with your kid and I was like, ah, son of a... I remember um, when we, I think it was in Hawaii, and, like, my mom and, like, like, they saw, like, a seal just, you know, chilling on the... Um, on the Outman is the, retired for the first out of the third inning. Anyway, on the shore, and like my mom and my sister and John were like, "Let's go see it or whatever." So they walked off and they were seeing it. And my mom was like, "I'm gonna touch it," and like Alma and my and John were like, "Don't touch it." And like she touched it, and I think like it roared at her or whatever. Like, yeah. And like they basically they they like sprinted when they came back. They're like. Ah! We were like, I was like, what the heck happened to you? We we're like, the seal. <laughs> my mom touched the seal. Or, I like how I said, seal, mom, roar. <laughs> I like how our moms don't listen to us and then they do it and then, you know. Cause at because at first it wasn't even at first they were like oh look at the rhino or something like that I was like rhino I'm like huh rhinos aren't aquatic oh but it turned out to be a seal I was like, oh Oh, they're not commentating this game. No, that's why I'm sitting here because they're not commentating because they're letting this New Yorker who lost his brother a couple years ago talk about all the foundation he's talking about. Why the hell am I talking a New York accent? Forget about it. Get back to the game. Get the ticket and get back to the game and start commentating. All right. Radio time. As <laughs> <laughs> a strike. Alexa, play the Mets game on TuneIn. Here's to Meet XBNL, Xbox and Games in Netherlands. That's not right. Oh, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Alexa, field corner. Starts going back on. Opposite field home run for Mookie Betts. Stewart could not get it. Went the opposite way. Going all the way back. It's gone. Dodgers lead it 1-0. to zero. Yeehaw! Come. Well, I can play the Mets game. Here is the Los Angeles Dodgers at New York Mets on TNI. Line. Code Isaga here for the Mets, uh, dealing with lefty James Altman. Their first pitch. Uh, Alexa, volume down 20%.
Alexa volume up 25%. Oh, I paused the game. Oh. All right, cool. You're helping the veterans. Now, can we get back to the game? You just want to listen to it all on the radio. I could listen to it on the radio. One ball, two strikes on Freddie Freeman. After home run number 27. 10 out of 27 games for Mookie Betts. Senga comes home. Freeman will take a ball. That looks like a strike on Freddie Freeman. All right, I'm going to switch to the Dodger radio station. <clears throat> Open tune in. I wonder if we would get copyright served if we listened to it on the radio. Yeah, I wonder too. Fuck it. Let's try it. All right, have fun. Alexa, play the Dodger game. You also couldn't find any songs that match your request. You literally just played the game. Alexa, play the Mets game. The Los Angeles Dodgers at New York Mets game is happening now. And you can listen with a 30-day trial of TuneIn Live. Would you like to sign up? No. Good okay. luck. You can sign up for TuneIn Live. I literally just... MLB, NHL, Alexa, stop. And... You're going to have to do it on your phone. All right. Dodgers up one nothing in the third. Hurt Smith me. will swing right over the top. And that looks like it'll foul, and that's one and two on Smith. See, I'm already commentating a lot better with Tim Neverett on the radio. Amazing, right? Two outs. Freddie Freeman is aboard, which we did not know before. Freddie Freeman might try and steal a base here with two down. Will Smith will take a cutter for strike three, and that is it. Cody Sanga. I, the only thing I hate about the radio for the Dodgers network is it cuts off when they're still talking when it goes to commercials. Alexa, play the New York Mets game. WCBS 880 from Odyssey. Hey, Mauricio Dortmund's playing Manchester City here in Las Vegas. Huh? Uh, Manchester City is coming against Mauricio Dortmund, whatever it is, uh, the German team, here in Vegas at Allegiant. You want to go to that game? I'm, I'm not watching no Manchester City. The fuck? Alexa, play the Dodger game. 
I couldn't find any songs that match your You voice. literally were just playing that. Why are you playing it now? <laughs> it's like watching a fox, motherfucker. All right, here we go. The Dodger game is back. The bottom of the third inning at City Field in New York. one nothing. Los Angeles Dodgers. We will go to the Mets now. The bottom part of the order will face Tony Gonzalez. AM, PM. Too much good stuff. I remember that commercial. Gonsolin, first pitch to Stewart, left-handed hitter. That'll miss for ball one. And that'll foul in and out of the glove of Will Smith. That's one and one on Stewart. Open tune in. And now it's two and two on Stuart. Strike three, call on Stewart. Fastball inside corner, knee high. Very good location there at the knees. That's another strikeout on the night for Tony Gonzalez. And Beatty will take high fastball, ball one. He's got 21 RBIs this season. Gonzalez will wind and delivery and deliver, and he will take a curveball for a strike. And that'll be a chase by Beatty. That is a strike one and two. Uh, oh, damn. I like, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three on Beatty. Low fastball. Gonsolin has struck out the first two Mets in the Mets half of the third inning. Do you notice how I'm commentating better now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys would get away with it too of not commentating if it was on TV. If like we could see through the radio. Here's the pitch to Luis Guillorme. You gotta be kidding me. Line. You're just gonna have to watch on Fox, dude. Oh, hold on. 1-0 -oh pitch to Guillorme. Two outs. Nobody on. And that is a strike. One ball, one strike to Guillorme. One one pitch, and that'll be a strong and a miss toward the third base side. Gonzalez off the maze, quick as a cat, feels it, throws a one hopper, scooped up by Freddie Freeman, and he is out. I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Do I have an account on TuneIn? What if I give you that? Hold on. Let me see if I have a... I don't have it? Really? Ooh, Biggie Smalls? They were playing Biggie Smalls. I guess I don't have my thing saved because I don't remember my password. Max Muncy in against Cody Senga here in the fourth inning. Muncy is 0 for 1 tonight. He grounded out to Pete Alonso at first base in his first time up. Here he goes against Cody Kode Senga. Met right hander throws. And that is a sweeper. And that's his bigger version of a slider. That's a strike 0 and 1. There's a difference between the sweeper and the slider. Curveball comes in at about 82 miles per hour. Not as much speed for Cody Senga. Here's the pitch. Swung on and ripped down the right field line. That is a foul ball. Why isn't it not letting me play the Mets game? All right, that's it. I'm gonna have to. I gotta watch it on TV. <laughs> I'll give you my tune in login. No, it's not gonna work because it's gonna recognize that I'm here on the East Coast. Oh, really? Remember, I tried that once. No, you didn't do it with my tune in login. Yeah, yes, I did. Not with no, not my tune in. I did. Muncie, way out in front. That is a called strike two or no, called strike three. I don't remember ever giving you my tune in. Yeah, you did. Hmm. I forgot what game it was, but um. Play Muncy one. will strike yeah. out. One out. JD Martinez is now up. He is one for one with an opposite field single. First time up. And with that no, no, pitch. Me. No, no, no. Sanga with the sweeper makes it act like a changeup. Has a different rotation, a different motion, but it does have a different speed. It slows it down. He fits this one foul down into the first base seat. Looks like into the dugout. Oh, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. O2 pitch, and JD right. will foul it back. So the TV it is then. At least you'll hear me commentating it. Martinez will wait at the plate. Senga shrugging his shoulders and now will kick and fire 0-2 and it's in the dirt for ball one. One and two to JD Martinez. Dodgers have a one nothing lead top of the fourth inning. By this time they were causing mayhem last year so Cody Senga having a better
Haim than uh, last night's pitcher for the Mets. I forgot who it was. One and two is low. That is ball two. It's two. It's two and two now. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. JD will lay in on it and it'll foul into the net right over the Mets dugout. Two ball, two strike pitch. Kota Isenga. And he will look at strike three. That is two out. That was a high fastball. Had enough spin on that cutter, and it moves. That is strikeout number six in the game. Make sure that these commentators Senga. stay on task and commentate the entire game. Right? That's why I like the radio. I mean, they have to because we can't see. Yeah, but like in base in baseball, they don't be commentating shit. No. Well, on the TV, on the radio, they're commentating everything. Just no, about on the, on the TV, on um, foot for football, they have to commentate everything. Even when they're having side conversations, they're like, "Oh, hold on, hold that thought," and then like they 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 describe the player or whatever, or they do what they're supposed to do, and then no two balls, no strikes. The time why do they do that? that? They go back to their their side conversation. Why why do they stop and commentate? I mean, I, I don't get me wrong, I like that, but why do they do that? I don't know. Hmm. Here's a shot. Ground ball to second. Over the offfield hey. pass. Iorme will get him out. Almost fell over. Oh boy, I'm getting tired. I'm getting bored. <laughs> we should have done yesterday's game. Boom, boom, home run after home run. <laughs> Holy shit. At least it wasn't that 14 game or 15. Remember when they had like 15 home runs and it was so many runs I couldn't make a short? Yeah. <laughs> it was too long. That's how long it was that <laughs> I even when I tried shortening it, I couldn't. My question is this, how did you how are you able to um do the shorts for uh for the Cowboys games? Cause that's gonna be some of those can go up into the thirties and forties and shit. Well, because it's always, you know, a field goal, a bunt, a touchdown is six points already. So it's, you know what I mean? It's not like a touchdown's only two points and then they made like 20 touchdowns. You see what I mean? Yeah. So I'd only have to cover like, let's just say six times five, like five, six touchdowns. That's not really difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting. I'm already. I really, really I really want this to come already because that's what they're playing. Top of the order, Brandon Nimmo is up for, and Jeff McNeil, Tony Gonsolin up, and Brandon Nimmo will face him for the second time. We're at the bottom half of the fourth inning. The top of the Mets lineup. Now here is in on the grass, left-handed hitter, nothing in one on Nimmo, who takes a big swing on that breaking ball. 
out into the grass is Max Muncy. And that is a breaking ball into the dirt. That is one ball, one strike. Naeem is jealous of all these balls floating around and none of them are landing on him. Oh! No? Mm. Eh. You've, you've heard. You've done better. <laughs> Again, man, you're losing your touch. Mm. Fast ball up and that'll be ball two. Brandon Nimmo has hit really well against the Dodgers. 34 games. Nimmo has a 343 average against the Dodgers. Tony deals him a strike here from the splitter. It's now the count goes two and two. And it goes two and two. Nimmo yeah. went five for five in the last series in April against the Dodgers. Wow, that was in April. He went eight for four. I didn't know we. I series. knew they played All twice. Right. That's right. They did play in April. I for that was the game where Max Scherzer got ejected because of sticky center stuff. field. Two and two, the count. Nobody on, nobody Three out. Swung first. on, drilled to deep center field. Out, been going back, still going back, and this game is tied. Brandon Nimmo hits a solo home run to center field. His 14th of the season. It is one to one. Oh, that's a letdown. Oh, drink a Coke, Jason. You got it. Come on, drink it. <sighs> Good boy. This is how I talk to myself. That's just a disappointment. The Mets have only had one hit before that home run, but they'd have still hit it really well. That's a mistake location right there. Gonzalez really got hurt by that pitch right there. Brandon Nimmo hitting it to center field. Outman just could not get that back. The first could not get it out. The Further, he went back. Game is now tied. The crowd has now put down their New York pizzas and are now loud. 445 feet of the Brandon Nimmo home run. Wow. No way Altman was going to catch that one. One to one, Mets and Dodgers. If the Mets take the lead, I'm going to be mad. Two balls, one strike. Gonzalez, high leg kick, goes home. That'll go for a strike. That's two and two. I think this is Jeff McNeil. Two balls, one strike. Uh, here's uh, Francisco Lindor. I'm sorry. He flied the first in the first inning. Gonzalez inside. That's three and one. Gonzalez losing his command here and his control. Lindor oh, has four. driven in 60 runs in these last couple years. Or in this season, driven in. Yeah. Not hit. The pitcher, what I noticed in the Dodgers pitchers is that they do find when, like, the Dodgers have the lead and they're in control yeah. one to zero or whatever. But then next thing you know, like, they give up that first score. And that is a walk to Francisco oh. Lindor. That's right. Yeah, they, they give it up. Even if they have the lead, they'll give it up or they'll let them tie it. And then it's usually a nail biter. A nail biter. Smith is going out to talk to Gonzalez. Here's a mound visit. And the crowd at New York on their feet getting really loud as Gonzalez is losing his control here. Smith still talking to uh, Gonzalez and the crowd. Is yelling that stupid ass cheer of let's go Mets. Whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm going to insult them. Jeff McNeil, left fielder. <laughs> he lined out to left field his first time up. So now Lindor is at first base. He has 13 stolen hey, bases. Pete, 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 Pete. First pitch to McNeil. It's down and in. Ball one. What? Nothing. Rojas getting oh, close. Right to Rojas. Oh, stop. He throws. And the fans are not happy. Swings it to ground ball. Right to Rojas. Grabs, throws to second. Steps on, throws at first. Out at first. 
A double play. Buck Showalter might want to challenge this one. It took Rojas a little bit of extra time. Bobbled it at first before throwing it. He took it himself, threw off the wrong foot, but he was able to get it to first base at Freddie Freeman in time to complete the double play. Second double play for the Dodgers. We'll have to see. That was a rocket hit, which gave Rojas the extra time. We'll see if this will be challenged. Two down, base is empty, and there will be no challenge. Pete Alonso, Gonzalez will fire, takes a big cut. Uh, Pete Alonso swings at that cut and takes a foul. Man, repeating everything they say is tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> It's like, especially you... the, the, the one that where you have to like repeat, like recap in like 30 seconds everything. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that one is like, I practice what I'm going to say in a way. I do ad lib, but this one, I can't ad lib jack sh Well, I could, but I can't practice jack shit. It's real time. O2 pitch to Alonzo, and that is up high. That's the one and two. Time for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Pete Alonzo. Swing and a miss, and that's it. Thank God. I'm still mad. Ooh, one to one. How exciting. That was a splitter chased down and away. I want to go at back to the they, At least oh, they man. didn't have a grand at least they didn't have a grand slam. <laughs> oh no, I would have been my mom would have to come in and tell me to shut up. Uh, I'm surprised that people didn't say anything when you said when you had that when you did the last one. Because it was just me and Emily. Emily was like, Jay, calm down. You just couldn't hear it. Damn. At least for Cal. Man, but your Dodger content is going to suffer when football starts up again. Oh, I know. It's going to be so bad. And that dude, I was telling my dad, I'm like, Lake, uh, if, I, if I did the Lakers, well, it just without the Lakers, Golden Knights, Cowboys, Dodgers. You know how difficult it is to do content? The Golden Knights play every day. Dodgers play pretty much every day. Cowboys play once, but in between, there's always rumors. You know how difficult that is? <laughs> Imagine we stream a Dodger game on a Friday and then a Cowboys game on a Sunday or a Dodgers game on a Saturday, Cowboys game on a Sunday. Damn. Or a Dodger game on a Sunday and a, a Cowboys game on a Monday and a, and a Golden Knights game on a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> Jason Hayward will lead off for the Dodgers. 789 against Kode Senga. I like how they were giving away $79 tickets for the Commanders Cardinals game, and I was like, fuck that shit. What? How do you how do you say no? I refuse to go to FedEx Field. <laughs> oh, you're afraid you're gonna sit down in the 
Nazi. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh Harris needs a year. Josh Harris needs a year to fix that. Seventy nine bucks. That's a steal, though. Cody Senga, ready to deal for oh, Jason. A steal is four bucks. <laughs> he struck out first time out, up, and he takes a strike. What? No, a steal is four bucks. Oh yeah. He's got twenty two RBIs. Swung on and missed. High fastball. That's 0 and 2. Really Jason want, Hayward not having the best start really to the season. I either want to half. go to Denver or go to Thanksgiving. When's Denver? You mean Denver and Commanders? Mm hmm. When? 0 2 pitch to Hayward. And uh, that is Chase, the fork bond. That is strike number three. Strikes him 17th. out. One out. What? The 17th. Of this month? Of uh, August? No, September. Oh, September? Mm -hmm. That's a Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I need to be back at school the next day. Yeah. Is the that's, game why I also, that's why I also wanted to do Thanksgiving because you would be oh, off that, that, that entire week, no? No, not the entire week. I go to school that Wednesday. What? Mm-hmm. So I would have to. The majority of the schools let let the let the classes off on that Wednesday too. What the fuck? It depends on the professors, but my the one uh, the my geology professor is not going to let me. I already know him. I've had him before. And then the other professor, I don't know. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, we could try to fly in early Thursday. I would have to leave that Wednesday night. But there presents a problem if it's delayed. 1-2 pitch from Senga to James Outman. And that is strike yeah. three. Fastball could, down the that middle. Because that could suffice as a trip for the year. Yeah. You just yeah, go to a football game. What if it's delayed and it's to the point where like, I'm not even flying out until Thursday. That would be a problem because we need to be at the stadium. So the game starts at, let's see. 3.30. So the game starts here at 4.30 Eastern. So it would be 3.30 Central. Central. We would be, need to be in the stadium by no later 12.30 p.m. Yeah. So what if I fl I'm flying in that morning? It'll take me at least... Three hours to fly to Texas. Here's a fly ball to Brandon Nimmo. That is a one, two, three inning for Cody Senga. The Dodgers bottom of the lineup not doing it today. The majority of the Dodger lineup not doing it today. We'll have to see how this game ends. I already know how it's going to end, but I'm not going to say because I don't want to get mad. Um, and not only that, but if I fly into Dallas, I then have to spend an hour getting to Arlington. If I fly into Arlington, the traffic to the stadium is Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Because it's not in Dallas. Dallas. God damn it. Freaking Cowboys. I know. Why couldn't they, why, why couldn't they just build a stadium, a, a new stadium in freaking Irving, Texas? Because Irving isn't that far. Who plays in Irving? No, their stadium used to be in Irving, Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Star Stadium? Mm-hmm. I wonder what they use that stadium for now. Okay. Okay, I could potentially go to the Philly game here, but you might want to take your own chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I probably say, a I'm allergic to being upstairs. I I request to be down near the field, near the sideline, so that way I don't have to fall anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but then if the fucking seats fall on top of you, you're fucked. <laughs> 
Either way, you're fucked. Francisco Alvarez and DJ Stewart now coming up. Part of that 363 double play. Pete Alonso at first base in the second inning. Gonzalez has just given up only two hits. One to Alonso and the home run to Nimo in the last inning. Now here we go with the Mets. Here's the 49th. Bogo back. Turns. Peralta carrying out. Leaps. Makes the catch. Somehow David Peralta stays with that ball twisting around. He had to turn his back to the baseball just to find it on the warning track at the 358 mark. And he makes the catch. David Peralta. Wow. So he turns. Should have gone the other way. Quickly twists around. Turns his back. Goes to the warning track at the 358 mark. And gets it. Holy moly. And now whoever this is will take strike one here from Gondolin. Can you imagine? I call you when the game's over. Hey, dude, I want to leave the stadium. Yeah, how was it? It was good. And then you're like, you go, you hear the. Ah! Like, ah! Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? I mean, like, hello? hello? What's up, bro? Uh, what happened? Uh, A bunch of seats just fell down on me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm a ghost. <laughs> I'm streaming. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Of Oscar's channel, we have uh, an emergency. <laughs> I call Alma. Uh, hello, Alma. This is Jason. Uh, your brother is at the game under some seats. Oh, what's that? You want his computer? Yeah, it's still in his room. <laughs> Here's Alvarez. Vogel back. Getting out, Alvarez swung. Now here's Stewart with two down. The Mets are eight games behind the San Francisco Giants for that third wild card spot. Now that is one ball, one strike oh, inside. Backing up Stewart. A one, two, three, fifth inning. One, one pitch. And that is hitting the air to center field. Here's Altman going back after it. Warning track makes the catch. One, two, three, fifth inning for Gonzalez. I just hate how the radio cut out at five. <laughs> it, it doesn't let him finish. At least they started commentating on TV again. Should I switch or stay here? Switch it. Okay. Making me work already. Oh, it's still behind. Hold on. They literally just played a... um. Not a subway. Jersey Mike's commercial. Oh, no. This is still... Okay, let me switch to another... Because it's still with that New Yorker. Close the app and reopen it. No, uh, just open a new... A new thing. I'll go here. There we go. No, I'm not going to stay here and watch wrestling. Ooh, the Fresh Prince. There we go. Is this the Hyundai commercial? Uh, Booby. 
You've never faced anything like this. Okay, I'm on the Jersey Mike sub commercial now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, Jersey Mike's. I like how it's like, you hear that? Yeah, it's just a grill. Yeah, it's just a grill. <laughs> We're back. Yep, it's back. Mookie bits to hate. All right, Mookie bets taking strike one from Kodai Senga, the Japanese dude. Wow. Mookie Betts taking those five of the seven outs for oh, strike out or um, what's his name? Cody Sengai. Kodai Senga. Up in a lower low end. Hammers this ball foul. Dang, even with the weather delay, it's already on the fifth in the fifth inning. They caught up quick. Mm -hmm. Man, this game is going faster than my college career. Oh! Damn. I like how you roast yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, I love Mookie Betts and all, but can you guys commentate the Fucking game, you ass wipes. Not you, Joe Davis. You're great. Even Texas those little ones that were stalling for time. The fuck? I know. Keep hitting. Ball four. Getting up the sixth inning, and that is ball four. Mookie Betts walking. Ace is already jealous. this one to the right. Swats this one into right. It is three for three for Mookie freaking bets. Gets on base. Mm, yeah. I thought he was walking. Yeah, I, I, I messed up. Freddie Freeman now coming up. He's not in his best game today. Run. Batted All in. When and I've seen Freddie Freeman, he's been not that good. Huh? Ever since I've watched baseball, Freddie Freeman always gets so I don't. I haven't seen him score in a while. Oh, he scored. He's definitely scored. He can score either if he's on base and he steals. If he's on base and someone bats him in, uh, drives him in, he can score hitting a home run. He can score singles, doubles. Oh, what happened here? Diving stop, Pete Alonzo. That back to second goes bets. Whoo! Pete Alonzo keeps it a one-run game. He takes away a hit from Freddie Freeman. Gets to the back quick enough. What a diving stop! Here's he bounces off, goes down the line. Bets is trying to go down. He turns to the base. He doesn't throw it to second. He comes up, throws that ball. He's not going to get bets out. 
He just kind of throws it away, but not to second base because he's not going to get Mookie Betts out. What a play. One runner in scoring position with Will Smith. Holy shit, what a play. That would have been another run scored. Freddie Freeman would have had a hit had it not been for Pete Alonso. Wow. Smith will get hit by the first pitch. He will now go to first base. Yankees are winning six to one. Lost last night. Yankees at 49 and 43. Nine game, nine games back of the race. Giancarlo Stanton hitting two whole runs. Doing well. What the fuck? Washington is somehow in the in also in the wild card hunt? Yeah, I know. <laughs> two on, one out. Max Muncy, strike one. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know. Washington, Washington. garbage. Right? <laughs> Did we stream a Nationals game? Oh no, you no, wait. No, because the um you either kept on getting background noise and we never did it, even though I stayed from Connecticut. Something happened. Uh, I'll be right back, Jason. Okay. Put me through. Put me through. And sorry for the background noise, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they are watching TV and do not care that I am streaming for some reason. And here is a strike, full count, 3-2. And it's thundering where I'm at. Hey, yeah. dude, can you hear on the 3-2, Muncie hits a ball line foul. Can you hear the background noise? No, but I can see if I can hear it on YouTube. Give me one second. Yeah, see if you see if you can hear my mom. Uh, yeah, hold up. Show. Another three, two. Loaded bases, and it is on, huh? And the bases are loaded. Muncie, Smith, and Betts, all on base. Cody Senga has now loaded the bases. Dodgers have loaded the bases up here in the sixth inning. Eight Ks, two walks for Senga. JD Martinez, one for two today. Base is loaded. He's homered in three consecutive games, including last night. Let's see what he can do here against Kodai Senga. Martinez, back to doing power hitting in baseball. He had just 16 home runs last year in. Uh, Wherever he was, I don't remember in baseball. Now he comes to LA. 
Rab Rob Van Skoyok. Taken off on an 0-1 from Senga. Swings and misses. Fastball. Strike two. Uh, J.D. Martinez doing a lot better. I think he's got 23 home runs this season in L.A. I think he comes from Chicago, and he's doing really, really well. And um, J.D. Martinez is one of the best trades the Dodgers have made uh, that they made in the offseason. On with the 0-2. Fastball, very high. Ball one. One, two, pitch. And he will lay off. And that'll be strike three. That still counts as a big one. Nine Ks for Kodai Senga. Okay, so you know what I think is saving you from, like, having that background noise from your mom's TV? Uh Uh-huh. The background music, because I don't hear... I oh, The only thing I hear is the background music. Oh, wow. Okay. Go home. Peralta bounces one back to Senga. And that'll end the inning. Kodai Senga will get out of a bases loaded situation. I gotta turn that music down. I think you're good, to be honest. Do you not realize he listen? Listen. I think you're good, to be honest. Do you not realize he listen? Either that or or change it, change the yeah. rock into what you had it before. Yeah, let me see if I can. Let me hold on. Because I feel like that music is basically saving you from having background noise. Probably. Let me put the volume down a little bit on my TV. If that works. No way or where did my... Oh, here it is. Let's see how this one works. Do you hear it thundering? Personally, no. Let's see how this microphone sounds. I'm just very curious. Now I'm going to turn it down. Let's see. All right. How does this sound now, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know in the comments. All right. How does this sound now, ladies and gentlemen? Sounds just fine. This is not a very fun song, but it's not as loud. Well, seeing that this game is tied, I'm going to go take a pee-pee break. Okay. I'll be right back. Watch your language. (laughs) What, pee-pee? Yeah. Really? Now here's Alex Vesia, Dave Roberts coming in, putting him in there. 
fastball slider, strike three called on Beatty. Five innings for Gonsolin, cruising through with just a home run. Did very well. Vesia having a good start right now, getting that strike on Beatty. He only had 54 pitches in five innings. Tony Gonsolin. Just crazy. Tony Gonsolin in the dugout. Here's a ball from Alex Vesia. Now it's on the bullpen to get this done. Two and one on Guillaume. I'm live. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch it. Up fly. Back to third. Muncie and Peralta. Off the tarp and then it's off the screen. Smith couldn't hang on to that, and Nemo stays alive. Or I think that's Guillaume. No, that's Nemo. Another 2-2 two -two from Vesia. Guillaume will take, I think, clone away, and that is... Full three and two, so it's Guillaume still. I I'm making mistakes here, but it is Guillaume who is staying in the in the batter's box for now at three and two. And that is a strike three call in the inside corner, and this long battle for Guillaume, which will end in disappointment, as Joe Davis says. And Vesia getting through the first two batters. Beatty and Guillaume. Perfect pitch right there. He's thinking down and in. 3-2. Inside corner at the knees. Good job by Vesia. Throwing that pitch. Fuck. Is this thing going to go into extra innings the way that I this know. game is going? I know. Jesus Christ. It's already like a three-hour stream. I had to change it because they're being loud. And here we go. Here's a foul one and one. You not hear the thunder? Maybe because the music's on, I don't hear it. Mm. 
Better not rain too much in Watt in DC because FedEx Field will fall apart. Ball <laughs> <laughs> two from Vesio. Hey, at least um, Roberts pulled a. Uh... Well, with Gonzalez, I would have preferred he put him in in the sixth inning. He had very uh, Nimmo will pop it back to and two. Um, he had good numbers. He only had two hits, one or three, uh, and that home run. So I thought he did well, but his numbers are down this are a little more up this year than they should be. So I think that's why Roberts pulled him out, and I think he's thinking injury, but I wish he would have kept him in. I think he would have done well in the sixth inning. Then I would have pulled him out, especially because he's not hurt. They're worried about his injury. He went straight into the, uh, into the dugout instead of going up the tunnel and back into the locker room. So... I don't know about pulling him out, but again, Vesia coming home. Nimmo pops it into left. Peralta is there. One, two, three, sixth inning for Alex Vesia. Tied at one. Here we go. Later innings in New York. Dodger lineup coming in into the seventh inning. Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd just rather have Gonzalez in. It. Yes, come on in. Why? Uh-huh. Oh, you guys go. Is the food ready? It's been ready. How come no one told me? I'll be right back. All right. We're on commercial break anyway. I'm going to be gone for a bit, so just commentate. Okay. All right, y'all. We'll see how this, we'll see how this turns out. It's one to one. Gotta turn on my light real fast. Probably get electrocuted at some point during this stream. Thunder storming outside. Where I'm at. So, still on commercials. We're back. Right, here we go. Does run 13 of 18. Tight at one. Brooks comes on the pitch. Jay's a word. See here. Commentate the game. One ball, two strikes now. Because they didn't commentate the first two things here. Here we go. Two, two. All 
All right, come on. One, two, fouled off. And come on. Got it. So now a strike out. Pinch hitter here. I don't know his name. I'm terrible with names with baseball, so please forgive me. First hit and first strike. 0 and 1. Pitch. O oh, two by four. Fouled away. Now one and two. Two now. Come on. This is Alvarez. Two though goes out. Off the end of the center and makes the catch and he's out. So Tony Goslin is fine, like we were discussing. Me and Jason earlier, you know, he was suspicious there was an injury, but he's fine. Roberts just wanted to pull him out. Robertson wanted to pull him out, so. And my old ball. One oh for Brian. Takes ball two, two oh pitch now. Hit Rojas. There's no forgets there. And a double for Stewart. Oh, man. I wish Jason was here to describe it because I don't know how to describe baseball well. So, oh, he hit it. He goes off the glove of Stewart. He drops it and misses it. And that looks like a double. Yeah, it is a double. Everyone thought it was going to be foul from Miguel Rojas. It bounces into the stands after going off his glove. Now there's a runner in scoring position against the Mets bullpen. Stewart could not get it. Now, here's Mookie Betts is going to be walked intentionally because Mookie Betts has 27 home runs on the season. Do you really not hear my thunder? Fuera la gran puta. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to do 
All right, excuse Oscar's French. <laughs> now here we go with Freddie Freeman, lefty against lefty. Dodgers trying to take advantage after of the defensive mishap. Strike one on Freddie Freeman. Look. I was like, damn, is it going to be a freaking typhoon over there? <laughs> you guys have bad storms out there? No, they're just freaking... Oh, and Freddie Freeman. Huh? No, they're just that loud. God damn. Imagine that lightning strike. <clears throat> Oh, two. Two on, two out. Oh, two popped up. Spady in the foul. Room. Can you make the catch? He can. And that is it. Leaving the bases. Well, leaving a man on, well, two men on base. That almost was a mishap. <laughs> Damn, one to one, and we're headed to the bottom of the seventh. Oh, boy. This is about to go to extra innings, and I'm going to hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, too. Oh, damn, I hear your thunder now. Oh, my God. Me flinching all over the place. <laughs> your house is going to get struck. <laughs> And here's the thing. You know what our blinds are made out of? What? Paper. What? <laughs> our right, landlord no. literally has <laughs> blinds that are paper. What the fuck? <laughs> Oscar, tell me your uh, post game. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar? Hello? Did, did you Go back and view the footage. Oh, he got struck. Ooh, we. So, do I inherit the channel? <laughs> 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 hmm. I mean, technically, I'm supposed to have the lights off and the TV off, but I don't care. Why? Because all that's all the wiring can conduct electricity, and I can get shocked. Oh yeah, oops! Oh shit! My AirPod fell out. Now I gotta find it. All right, I found it. I'm gonna pick it up with my toes. Actually, I'm gonna bend over and grab it. I guess my ear got that sweaty. Huh. Damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Every single time I hear it, I think it's a big one. I flinch. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> Poor Oscar. No, nah, it's just, dude, this is the freaking thunder. Imagine that you're minding your own business and you're sleeping. And next thing you hear is boom, boom, boom. You're like, the fuck? And you wake up and you're like, hey. <gasps> Imagine. I'm going to have to open this app again. So I end up having to sleep with a pillow over my ear. Hey, let's go back. Son of a bitch. Let's hope if you get struck, it's after the live stream. You asshole! <laughs> I don't want to have to pay liabilities. <laughs> the 
That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> the judge calls me. Did I hope you, you have to put Nala me? down tomorrow. Huh? I hope you have to put Nala down tomorrow. Shut the fuck up, you son of a fucking bitch. You fuck yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Emily wants to put her down just because she doesn't want her to suffer anymore. Quilla! It's thunder, relax! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What timestamp is that so I can go get that? Oh, <laughs> yeah! All right, that's it. I'm I'm turning off. I'm turning off my light at least. Is <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Open Direct TV. Direct TV. Oh. Damn it. Hold on. First out of the inning. Out of the inning. Dave Peralta is responsible for that. One for two, last ball, high. Are you okay, Oscar? Oh! Someone pissed off Virginia. Double play! Third double play of the game for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Tied it one after seven. Alright, that's it. Where are my somewhat noise canceling headphones? <laughs> Oscar is scared of thunder. You know what? I'm going to put my shoes on in the event that a bolt does come in. At least I won't get shocked too bad. Uh, I got shocked in the throat. But hey, my shoes are still on. No, because it's rubber. Rub rubber doesn't con uh, conduct electricity. Do you think the rubber is going to protect your face and your chest? So how's your dinner? Gross, but Emily brought me two sandwiches. Wait, what? Emily brought me two sandwiches. From where? She made them. I thought you guys were going to make... What happened to the fish sticks and whatever it was? I have them, but I told her if she wants to use the iPad on Monday. You know. No. So what sandwiches are they? I mean, cheese. Now I wish I hadn't eaten all those hot Cheetos. Mm. Okay, so at least the thunder isn't that bad anymore. Oh, dude, but El Salvador, thunderstorms are the worst. Oh, yeah? Bro, they're really fucking loud. Shit. Like, I remember once, um, I think it was my either our first trip or second trip. I don't remember. 
but um so whenever we would go to El Salvador as a family we had a tradition of um of like visiting our uncle who passed away in uh 2017 because of uh kidney failure mm -hmm. um he um so we used to go to his house for like pupusas and shit because we used to fly in in the morning and since he lived close to the airport we would just go to his house have breakfast hang out with them for like a few hours and then go to our own home yeah so i remember one time we went there and it was like pouring rain and then there were it was thunderstorming and yet they were like ha like laughing a lot i was like damn they're used to it all right here we go here's a strike to will smith can you hear my mom no. Yeah, thank God I have this on then. I'm curious to see if you can hear the thunder on the stream. Yeah, I know. That's a strike two and two on Smith. Swatted to first. It swatted to first. Alonzo around to get it. Short hop in it. And Brandon Nemo will get it. Uh, Pete Alonzo, I'm sorry. Yeah, normally it starts at 10 your time. Can you not hear my mom? No. Damn, you really can't. Thank God for this song. <laughs> That is a strike on Muncie. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oscar, can you stop that, please? <laughs> Muncie, so for two with one. This one, right side, and this one will get by Alonzo. And Max Muncy has his first hit of the series, and the go-ahead run reaches in the eighth. I don't even hear any thunder right now, dude. Cause it stopped for a, it stopped. Maybe it knows the Dodgers are gonna <laughs> are gonna are gonna do something here, and it wants to give me some peace. Muncie runs, rounded, right side, base hit, Muncie to third, yee-haw, man on first, man on third, they got him cornered, hit, hit and run, yee <laughs> Can you hear the thunder? <laughs> could you hear the thunder though? Yeah, you can hear the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> 
what a supportive friend does during a thunderstorm. Yell at, uh, yell at your friend in the thunderstorm. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna edit this short. <laughs> <laughs> Hit and run, first this and third. Is so awesome! Oh my god! <laughs> Tied at one in the eighth. David Peralta looking to give the Dodgers the lead. Peralta will swing and miss. <laughs> you should start it at the hole. Emily wants to put her down, and it just. <laughs> You gotta send me that song. This is gonna be funny as shit. What song should we put? <laughs> Peralta grounds one to Alonzo, goes to second, throw to first. It's two to one, Dodgers! Yeehaw! And they're going to take a look at this one. As it stands right now, Peralta just there in time. 2-1 Los Angeles. Making it 2-1. to one. They're going to take a look at this. Alonzo does everything route. He just doesn't hop Lindor. Has to take one little step to go back. But because of that, Peralta for now is able to beat it. Dodgers have a 2-1 to one lead. It is being looked at. The Mets are challenging the safe call at first. <laughs> I like how you're freaking out laughing while I'm commentating. <laughs> we got... <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> His foot doesn't land on the bag here. <laughs> because his foot doesn't land on the bag, he's not a bitch of how to explain this game. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Well, this looks like it's going to go through because I think it's Lindor who doesn't have his foot on the bag right here. Okay, so oh, the runner's safe! It's 2-1 to one Los Angeles! Okay, so the timestamp is 2 yeah. hours and 1 minutes, just about. Alonzo's high throw misses. 2-1 to one Los Angeles Dodgers! Yeah! <laughs> We should bring back our drinking games that we did earlier in the season. <laughs> Dodgers get a single from Muncie. Run hit, moves into third. Peralta get, lines out to first, allows Muncie to score. Chris Taylor, who struck out as a pinch hitter last inning, is now up again. Good to see him back. <laughs> Oh, man, that was awesome. <laughs> Face hit the other way! Base hit the other way. Dodgers now have first and second loaded. (laughs) 
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> <sighs> that was awesome. That was a good clip. That's going to be a good clip. Here we go. With a base hit in the left field. Taylor, you got to go here. Taylor has got to be on the move to try and make this work and extend this lead. Get some insurance at 3-1. to one. New York not loving this score right now. Here's a disengagement again. If one more comes in, then uh, if there's another disengagement, he'll come in to score. You want a fake break from the guy on first just to recover, just to kind of avoid the Mets defense here and <clears throat> the Dodgers. And here's a throw, comes home, here's a strike. Borderline strike here, Alvarez. Catches it in the web here. Strike two. This is the most interesting stream. <laughs> Thunderstorms freaking out a Commanders fan. FedEx Field keeping him away from his seeing his favorite team. Jason eating sandwiches and fish sticks and rice. Running out of ice. Here goes Taylor on an 0-2. That's a slider, and that's fouled off. Here we go, first and third, two gone. Oh, two runs again. That's it. And he gets hit. First, second, and third, all loaded. This is going wild and against New York. The Mets are just not doing well. Jake Marismic, the former fucker from the Astros, is now here. You better do something right, you asshole, or I'm going to really lose it. Jake, he tries to fastball here, and it gets away from him. And um, first through third, they got him loaded. Rojas now coming up, and he will take a strike. Strike one. <clears throat> Rojas is over three today. Oh, one pitch. Grounds one to second. Yorme feeds Lindor, and that is the inning. The Dodgers will take the lead. Two to one, Los Angeles. We go to the bottom of the eighth. I will be right back. I'm going to go get some ice in my cup, and then I'm going to pour some soda, and then we're going to have a good time eating the other sandwich. Here we go. Oh.
All right, y'all. Sorry, I was being distracted by uh, laughing at my flinchiness when it comes to thunder. We'll see how long it takes for Jason to get back. Let's see what the do the Dodgers, the uh, Mets do here after that long half inning. Two one. Tommy fans gonna pitch in. Strike. One, two, just like that. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Come on, hurry this up. God damn it, why would you lose your cup? Commentate the game! One and two. All right, evens up, two and two. Ball. Foul. Ninth pitch. Yeah. Tenth pitch. Ball four. Walk. Alvarez coming up. Up. Ball four. 
Time run aboard to uh, open the eighth. Go ahead, or uh, go ahead, run at the plate. Ball one on Alvarez. You literally just wasted another Coke. Yep. No, dude, I was so desperate to get ice, it was still watery. So now a bunch of ice is stuck together. 1-0. On a 1-0, takes ball two. So hit, ties the game. Towards the rally, hey, uh, down. It saves a run second. as the ball is thrown. First and third for New York. Alvarez is in the game. Ah, that was down for a hit. Chris Taylor does really well cutting off Tommy Fang, not letting him score after Alvarez hits that rocket. So now we got first and third field. Alvarez showing he was ready for that pitch and didn't miss it. Down for a base hit. Oh shit, that's cold. Okay, Robertson should really pull the pull him out. Yeah, he should. New York on their feet. Tie and run at third. Go ahead, run at first. Leading run at the plate. This one from Ferguson. Caleb Ferguson, first one, popped up. Right side of the infield. Freddie Freeman is there for the first out of the inning. Ferguson, normally a great bullpen piece. One of the hardest hit throwing relievers here. Finding himself in a bases loaded situation in this jam. No one is getting up from the bullpen. Nobody is getting loose. Gons uh, uh, Gons uh, Ferguson has to be very careful here. Way. Brett Beatty now. Beatty One away. Swing and a miss. Lefty on lefty. Dodgers and Caleb Ferguson looking for another double play. 0 1 for Beatty. Swings and misses. It is 0 and 2. Here's the four seam. Two pitches in a row. In a row, he's late. 97 from Ferguson. Two strikes using that four seam. Here's the OT. Fastball swings and misses. Overpowers him. That is two out for Caleb Ferguson, who strikes out Beatty. Good morning, and good night. For Matt Beatty, last time up in the lineup. Better control, another left-handed hitter. And Luis Guillorme hitting in the number nine spot tonight. 
Alvarez at first. Guillaume will take strike one. He is killing it with that fastball. All right, let's see. <clears throat> so if they don't score here, they go to the ninth? Hmm? If they don't score here, would it make sense for them to go to the ninth? Yeah. Dodgers still have to hit. Ferguson, O2 to Guillorme. And that is something other than a fastball. That is a foul ball. Fang walked on 10 pitches to start the inning. Then Alvarez cranked a line drive into the left to get into first. Seven pitches, seven strikes. Since then, from Caleb Ferguson... Struck out Beatty. Struck out, I forget who it was. Two strikes here. Two strikes. Strikes him out! It's out. With the fastball! Gets out of a jam, a bases loaded. Or first and third, the Dodgers still in front, two to one. Caleb <laughs> Ferguson getting out of that jam. Oscar, is the thunder still bothering you? No. It's Halloween in uh, Woodridge, Virginia for Oscar. <laughs> Thunder scary. <laughs> Look, I'm such an ass. No, it stopped draining. Oh, okay. Watch it be like, vroom, ah, bitch. <laughs> Fooled you. <laughs> Damn, he got out of that jam, dude. Holy shit. All right, here we go to the ninth inning. The Dodgers have a chance to at least get one insurance run, possibly two, just to try and put it away. Can they do it? We will have to see. The Mets bullpen is a little shaky, <clears throat> as we've seen tonight. Hey, what happened to the music? It's still playing. Oh, it is. I just had it low. My mom was asking me about my dad's blood type. I'm like, why do you want to know my dad's blood type? Well, because see, I'm O, Nathan is A. So if your dad's not A, then he can't be his dad. I think that's funny. And I'm like, why? Because then your grandma is so right. I'm like, yeah, that also says something about you. <laughs> Where were you? Where's Francisco at, huh? <laughs> My mom likes the song about the, the, the guy and the girl who have nine kids. Mm -hmm. At 18, he finds out that the black one's only his. El negrito es el único tuyo. And she says it while laughing. <laughs> My mm -hmm. mom loves that song. <laughs> they uh, So the Dodgers taking the lead in the eighth inning. Graham Cartleg. Going against Mookie Betts, who will lead off against him. He had a two singles, an intentional walk, and a shot in the third, a solo shot. That is the third time in the last four games in that Betts has been intentionally walked for Freddie Freeman. Mookie Betts has become a menace with 27 home runs in the last few weeks. He hasn't hit 27 home runs in the last two weeks. But my point is, it doesn't say that Freddie Freeman's a bad hitter. Not at all. Freddie Freeman's one of the best in the league. It just says that they fear Mookie Betts so much that they have to, 
they have to um Fuck. walk him. This just game was delayed forty five minutes and um it caught up nicely. Yeah. There was a strike on bets. Six years in Boston, four years with the Dodgers. First year, he was a World Series champion, all-star, all four years. Base hit into right field. Perfect night continues for Mookie Betts. A single. Mookie Betts has been on base all four times. He's 7-10 and ten in this series alone. I asked my dad what his blood type was. He's like, I have no idea. God's blood. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I'll be right back. Okay. Evan Phillips will be coming on in the bottom of the ninth. One ball, two strikes on Freddie Freeman. I don't know where Oscar went. We'll have to see. Strike three on Freddie Freeman. Betts is still in there safe at first. The Mets 42 and 49 after adding Justin Verlander, after adding Cody Kodai Senga, adding some pieces around the edges, keeping basically the entire roster from last season. They're 42 and 49. They're at the bottom. Teams we thought would be at the bottom are at the top, and teams we thought would be at the top, like the Mets, are at the bottom. So now the Mets are thinking of, okay, well, what do we do? Right? Now you're thinking. We pretty much have the same team next year. Right? But will Mets fans come out and say, yeah, keep the same team? Or will they say, nah, get rid of them? Two and one. Steve Cohen wants to win a World Series, the owner of the Mets. But he has to have a limit on what he can do. That's a base hit towards center field for Will Smith. Betts will stop at third. Uh, and Smith will go to second with a double. Dodgers with second and third. Looking for some insurance. Max Muncy coming up. But Steve Cohen has to admit that there's got to be a limit on what he can do. Uh... And he's willing to to pay a lot. Now, Smith shoots it to right field. Brandon Nimmo cuts it out. Goes a long way. Kind of like Chris Taylor cutting it off last inning. But had he not done that, Betts would have scored easily. Instead, Betts will stop at third. Smith at second with the double. Now, Max Muncy has a chance to at least get a base hit and drive Mookie Betts in. Or hit a hit a double. 
and get Smith to third or hit a triple and get Smith home. Now, depending on how far the ball goes, that's the question if Smith and Betts can both score. I'm surprised, like they're saying on TV, how they're not walking Muncie intentionally. Load the bases up. He has a walk and a single his last two times up. He could score the go-ahead run. but And there's a strike, but they're not bringing up Martinez and walking Muncie intentionally so that they can get a... Uh, a double play here. They're not doing that now. Muncie's got a strike here. So Muncie just has to get a grip here. I think someone's messing with the mics on TV. Pop up. Left side of the infield. Here's backing up. Beatty having a hard time tracking it. And here's a disaster. He doesn't get it. Betts will be in the score. Dodgers will lead 3-1. to one. He makes a mistake. Oh, my goodness. Game set match. The Mets are in deep trouble here. It bounces up here, adding insult to injury. Beatty going back. Wow. This is the 2023 Mets here. A team we thought was going to be a monster this year. It is officially ruled an error, I think, on Beatty. Smith to third. Muncy to first. They got him at the corners. Beatty, where he started the ball, is going back to Lindor. It's coming back to the infield. Lindor could have just turned and caught it, but it is on Beatty. This is really bad for the Mets, giving up this run. Giving the Dodgers a potential chance at adding another run to make it 4-1. to It's 3-1 to right now. And giving the Dodgers a chance to win the series, here's first and second. Here's to set left center field. It'll drop down. Smith in the score. Martinez in the second. The throw in time. The Dodgers will lead 4-1. to one. I think Muncy's out. We'll have to see here. This is falling apart at the seams. For the Damn. Met, it is now 4-1 to one, Dodgers. JD after Martinez, they played, after they played, pops it up. He shoots it into left center. Very well, he ends. Damn. It's cut off here. Hits Lindor. JD hesitates around first, and had he not hesitated, he would have made it in easily. However, he doesn't because he hesitates. But it's a base hit down into left center field. It's already ball two. No strikes on David Peralta. This is a disaster for the Mets. Giving up two runs here in the ninth inning. If, if I was a Mets fan, I'd be screaming my lungs off right now. That is another ball. Ball three. Uh-oh. It is quiet in New York. I don't know why they're being quiet. The Dodgers are leading. You are so stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. That is another ball. So I think that's ball three. <sighs> 
Three, two. Peralta will foul it. The Mets wasted a bases loaded opportunity. Couldn't score. But they had first and third. Nobody out. Sorry about that. Top of the ninth inning here. Two runs will score for the Dodgers. It's four to one. Four runs on ten hits for LA. One run on three hits for the Mets. Hey dude, I'm not feeling too good, so I'm about to leave. Aw oh, man, what happened? The Thunder got you? Dude, I don't know. Like I just for some odd reason, like I'm just out of energy. I don't know why. You gotten any rest lately? Mm -hmm. Ooh, hold on. Out to right in the left field base hit Peralta in the scores Muncy. It is 5-1 Dodgers. They have scored three runs in the ninth inning. Holy hell. Base hit to the left field for David Peralta. New York is in mm -hmm. top. And they're finally doing a pitching change. After three runs, you're doing a pitching change? Really? I, don't, I honestly don't think they're going to do the bottom of the ninth, dude. We'll have to see here. Uh, is, is it, uh, have you had any rest lately? Yeah. How long? Uh, maybe it's that you've been up all day and it's like your body's kind of tired, especially oh. with work. Could be from like working and then, you know, yesterday. And then also you went to sleep late yesterday because of your family partying. Yeah. Probably. That's probably what it is. And you're witnessing the Dodgers slaughtering the Mets for a second night in a row? Damn. I didn't, wit I didn't witness yesterday. Damn. Yeah, they won 6-0 to zero yesterday. It was it was borderline. I mean, they're score again. I, I honestly don't see them going under the bottom of the ninth. Yeah, I don't either because they don't even have um, three outs, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And now they're doing a pitching change. Now, after you give up a run, then you load up the bases, you give up another run, you have them cornered, they have you cornered, and you don't pull them out? This would get me yelling at Roberts. The, the, the Mets had an over $300 million payroll. Over $300 million. Steve Cohen went out and spent big money. And this is what he gets. So if you're in New York, you got to be wondering, if you're a fan, do I, like I was explaining, am I cool with Steve Cohen keeping the team the same, pretty much? Or do I want him going out and getting some big pieces or bringing up some of our prospects and trading? Because mm -hmm. this is the second year with pretty much the majority of this roster they did really well a year ago and here they are against Los Angeles Dodgers they're 42 and 49 they're about to be 42 and 50 they're near the bottom of the order in the AL and and I just don't understand I mean I'm cool with it <laughs> I'm a Dodger fan of course I'm cool with it but I, under, I don't understand how you spend that much money and you're that far down why don't you be pissed tomorrow Oscar, you know, let me enjoy my moment. <laughs> You'll have to ruin everything. I mean, come on. You've already ruined my mood a bunch of times today. <laughs> I don't know how you could just ruin my good-ass mood when my Dodgers are winning. Man, it is <laughs> silent in New York right now. I don't know if you can hear it on your TV. No, dude, you can hear a pin drop. <laughs> Everyone's just having their own side conversations. 0-2 on Chris Taylor. <laughs> Here's a new pitcher looking already looking better. They should have done this earlier. They still would have had a chance. It's 5-1. to one. Holy hell. Looks like that's a ball here. They've allowed going... Go ahead, runs to score. Like, wow. 
Amazing. I'm happy. <laughs> but, you know. The one, two. Fly to right. Here's Guillaume. Jeff McNeil will make the catch. And that'll end the inning. Oh. If you're a Mets fan, you're thinking, why the hell didn't you do this out of yesterday? <laughs> From bad to worse in the ninth. And we are going to the bottom of the ninth. Why? <sighs> All right. I'm going to do my post game and then I'm going to dip. All right. It was a nice game. Interesting game. Yeah, very. And then the... I honestly thought that... Um... That the pitching change for the Dodgers came at the right time because the dude was unraveling a little bit. A little bit. Hence the reason why they gave up the, the tying score. And then they would have scored again if it wasn't for I don't know what. And then and then we just saw the Mets unravel on that um the top of the think, ninth, so Yeah, um, yeah you're right. Uh, I honestly don't see the... I don't know why they're going to the bottom of the ninth. But... <laughs> I don't either. Watch watch me watch me leaving. You stay here on the stream and you're going to like... You're going to text me. Dude! It's 5 to 5! <laughs> you come back. <laughs> and I was saying, I'm like, oh, dude, this is about to go into extra innings. The fuck? Well, it's better than in 2021 when that game against the Padres went 16 innings. Imagine that live stream. Huh? Imagine that live stream. Dude, we would have been on till like 3 something in the morning your time. Because that went till like midnight. No. No, 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 no. It went later. It was like 1.30 in the morning. I think. Maybe a little later. Imagine that. It started at 7.00. A six-hour live stream. <laughs> we both ran out of chips, soda, snacks. And, like, then the, yeah. and then the Dodgers had to play the next day, too. Damn. Uh -huh. They literally used every batter. Even guys they had on a break, they're like, you need to get up here. <laughs> I was like, thank God you won, because I was ready to... I slept in that day. Damn. All right, here's Evan Phillips. Ready to shut it down here. Dodgers into the ninth, into the ninth inning. Here we go. So now Evan Phillips looking for the three outs just to try and get the Dodgers out of this uh, game in to try and win the series. And even if they lose tomorrow, they win the series against the Mets. If they sweep the Mets, that's going to be news. Who will they play next after the series? Alexa, Dodgers schedule for Monday. There are no events scheduled on Monday, July 17th. Alexa, who do the Dodgers play on Monday? Baltimore Orioles. Ooh. That's at 7.05 p.m. your time. We could stream it. Yeah, assuming I get out of work on time. I could start it and then you come in. Uh, why are you so excited? They're really good. <laughs> they're better than I thought. Exactly. Although I think they're in second place now. They were in first. For yeah. Like but still, I mean, the Orioles in second place? I've never spoken those words. How about the Cincinnati Reds in first? <laughs> the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, my God. I hate Tyler being right. 
Because he said, Bye bye, Sarah Brother. Come on, man. <laughs> anyway, I think I turned him into Scooby Doo. But baseball is so unpredictable. Football, you can kind of track it. Ground ball to first, track to Freddie Freeman, one out in the ninth. There was one Dodger game, I swear to God. My dad's like, Mijo, come to my, Mijo, come to my house. I'm gonna make uh, hot dogs. And we're gonna watch the Dodger game. Okay. Dude, I walk inside, put my bag down. It's the first inning. And within like two minutes, it's already 3 to 0 Dodgers. <laughs> 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 I was like, so why am I here? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you did tell me that story. Yeah, it was like, I was like, I barely sat down because I, I, Literally missed the pregame, and I barely sat down. It's three to zero. I'm like, well, <laughs> my dad was like, it's three to zero. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> that guy, holy shit! And they didn't stop either. That game was an annihilation. Two o to Francisco Lindor. And uh, that is, I think, two and one. Two and two on Francisco Lindor. What an interesting stream, you know. Crazy game at that. Oscar being scared by thunder, me eating a bunch of food, wasting ice. Two gone. Two gone. As Lindor goes down on strikes, the Mets down to their last and final out. Crowd is starting to leave. Well, the Mets are going to rebuild. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you do a rebuild when you've already spent over three hundred, five over five hundred million dollars in payroll. That's not typical if you're if you're saying, oh, we're gonna go into a rebuild. And it's even kind of you... like kind of like the Rams that basically like, dude, they literally got rid of all their, all their, their draft players. capital. Yeah, all their draft, yep, all yep. their draft capital <laughs> to bring in like the top notch players to give them that Super Bowl. And now that all those players are all aged and always get hurt and nothing, mm -hmm. they couldn't replace. They couldn't. They couldn't do anything. Get rid of them because of their big contracts. Because yep. they're too old. Like they can't get that draft capital back. So now they're kind of ruined. For at least the next couple years. Yeah, for all because one of two on Jeff McNeil. At New York on their feet. Out of it. Yeah. At least they did. Imagine, imagine if they, imagine if they lost that Super Gave Bowl. up their and to the Bengals. I'm never gonna forget those playoffs. Though that's actually my favorite playoffs in a long time. When Derek Carr throws that interception, and the Bengals win off of that interception. I mean, I don't know how you do a rebuild, though, because when you do a rebuild, you say, okay, I'm going to go into a rebuild. You don't spend $500 million in your first year of the rebuild. You spend maybe $100 million. 2-2, two, two, and it'll go again. You know what I mean? Like, first yeah. year, you kind of spend, like, maybe a couple hundred million. Then you increase it to, like, 250 maybe even 300 mil. You know, you start getting a good roster together. This is, I mean, this is, like, when the Cowboys were sucking in 09. 2010. 
up goes McNeil oh, Rojas cool. waiting on it and that is in the Dodgers get their sixth consecutive win 14 and 19 so far their second win over the New York Mets and they will win the series well you can do your Dodgers in mind two full games ahead of Arizona the Mets will end this one trail this one by four Damn, I can't believe I Dodgers can't believe have the Diamondbacks let it slip too. Yeah, they let it slip big time. Crazy. They were in control. Yeah, they they were controlling baseball for sure, and it's just shocking. I mean, it's it's not really shocking because a lot of people thought I was crazy because I said, "Look, Corbin Carroll and all those guys—they're doing incredibly well in Arizona." But you give up a guy like David Peralta, who's incredible. And you're doing well, but the Diamondbacks are not stable. I'm sorry, but they're not. I still think they'll be in the playoffs, but I was like, they'll take first for a bit. And watch. Other teams are going to start pouncing on them. Because I don't think they can maintain it. You see the Dodgers, I mean, they do suck most of the time. They went down to third, and look at them. They're back in first. So, I don't know. I mean... I guess for my post game, Mookie Betts is on fire. Uh, they were right to intentionally walk him. Freddie Freeman was, you know, a little, pretty off tonight. Max Muncie, uh, you know, um, Will Smith, um, JD Martinez doing well. He didn't hit a home run, but he hit a home run last night. I mean, the, the Dodgers loading up the bases and making use of them 90% of the time, that's great. Getting opportunities there. Um, that That's incredible. Um, I guess the thing I will say is... I mean, defensively, the Dodgers did incredible. Three double plays in a game. That's not easy. That's not unheard of. But it's not that common in baseball. Especially, like, in one night. Maybe three double plays in a series. That error by Stewart... That mishap by 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 DJ Stewart by uh, by Lindor, who should have caught that ball. He missed that as the big league big leaguer, the veteran big leaguer. He should have got that and helped Brett Beatty. He didn't. The Mets not making a pitching change after giving up a run and loading up the bases and then having them cornered. Huge mistake by the Mets, and I think they have a lot of questions to ask. What the Dodgers have to wonder is. With Dustin May out for the rest of the season because of another elbow injury. And, and I got to do a video on him too, right? Um, but with Tony Gonzalez back, with Julio Urias back, Clayton Kershaw not slated to come back to August, how much can you maintain your rotation where you've got Emmett Sheehan, Bobby Miller, Tony Gonzalez, Julio Urias, that's four men, and then you still have your fifth rotation, your fifth door, kind of there, that fifth spot. You don't have five solid starters. Can you keep Gonzalez and Urias and all those guys healthy? And also, do you what do you do in the trade? You just added Jake Marisen. Uh, do you go after Shohei? Well, he's slated to go to the Yankees, it looks like. And if you go for Shohei, what do you do? So... Um, I don't know. Good game by the Dodgers. They win the series. They get their sixth consecutive win. They just have to keep it up at least so they can get in the wild card, be first in the wild card, or hopefully, I don't know. I would say hopefully skip the wild card, but I don't think they should. You saw what happened last year where the teams that had to pedal to the middle, they won. They advanced. The teams that had to, that got to relax and just chill, like the Dodgers, they lost. So... Good game by the Dodgers. They win 5-1. to one. What an incredible mess for the Brave. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> for the Mets. This, this, this stream reached almost four hours, and the first hour was just us Fucking doing around. whatever. Oh, a Braves game. <laughs> uh, what a show, ladies and gentlemen. We will be streaming on uh, Monday night, right? Yep. 
We'll be streaming the Dodgers at Baltimore Orioles game. What does Orioles stand for? Is it Orioles? Yeah. Yeah, Orioles. What's that? I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to, you know what I used to hear? I used to hear Baltimore Oreos. I was like, me too, Oreos. I'm like, oh, so I think an Oreo is a is an uh, like a special ice cream dessert. We gotta figure that out. What's their, what's their mascot? You know, Alexa, what is the Baltimore Orioles mascot? The Baltimore Orioles team mascot is the Oriole bird. Oh, it's a bird. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Ro- Orioles, not Royals. We just played the Royals not so long ago. Kansas City Royals and the Chiefs. No, um, they're in second place. They're in second place. We'll see what the Dodgers do with them. Uh, we'll be streaming on both of our channels. Yep. Uh, press the like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as of right now, there is no other content on my channel. So, so Maybe therefore, more. come to my channel because uh, content's coming out on Monday. I just got to make it. I'll edit it. I have to edit it. Uh, and... Make sure you press post the notification bell. It's not. It's what I, right now, like questioning a lot of Real Madrid decisions with them flirting with the Mbappe stuff. Like, eh, I'm I'm done covering that shit until it becomes a reality. Like, I'm just, I'm not even interested in it anymore. Like, we'll cover off season things with. There is no off season things. Like, literally, they just returned to training. They're gonna go back. Like they're gonna do like a USA tour. I'll probably cover. You, you want to do a preseason game if I can find the games. Whenever they play them. You mean the Commanders? No, Real Madrid. Oh, Real Madrid. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because no. they're, they're playing. They're playing. They do like at least like once a year. I think they play like three, like friendly preseason games in the U.S. And I think like some some of them are. I think one of them is actually in Vegas. Yeah. Well. That that's that's what I gotta figure out. Mm-hmm. Fly out here in Vegas. Anyway, I was talking about football off season. You should cover that. I'll do that when like training camp starts. But like right now, it's like uh, dead because there's really nothing. And training camp is gonna start in like two weeks. Yeah, I'll be out for about five minutes. Um. Yeah. Well, we will be streaming tomorrow. Oh. Monday, 4.05 p.m. Eastern, 7.05 p.m. Uh, 4.05 Pacific, 7.05 p.m. Eastern against the Baltimore Orioles. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Press the post notification so you never, never miss another one of these videos. And uh, we're on PayPal. And like, comment, share, subscribe to the Oscars channel. Press the post notification for Real Madrid content. And you have no PayPal, so there you go. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Oscar will post that short <laughs> of him being scared of thunder. Tomorrow. He is, uh, wait. Hey, you should put the song Thunderstruck. <laughs> 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 You've been Thunderstruck. <laughs> I'm going to look at it. I'm, yo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thanks for All watching, right, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you all Monday.